of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. You're hammering. Stop by and lend your hand, Injun. <laughs> Maybe you was deaf when we said we don't need no Injun doctors in this settlement. Now take down that sign and get. The nails in that sign won't pull out easily. And you can tell whoever sent you that neither will I. <laughs> Now let's show him how to take down that sign. Don't come any closer. I got something here that'll suck the blood out of you easier than any of your leeches, Indian. I'm gonna cut that hammer right out of your hand, clean up to your wrist. Get him, boys. Maybe if I give you a taste of red skin medicine and lifted your hair. You'd listen next time a white man spoke to you, providing you live. Chingachgook. Injun, that rifle you're carrying ain't big enough to stop all of us. Would you like to place a wager on that, mister? You're muscling the doctor's shirt. You ain't got no call busting here what ain't your business, stranger. The citizens of this town and said... First time I ever saw the citizens of any town hold a meeting with killing knives in their hands. Now drop the knives. The meeting's adjourned. If you're around enough, stranger, you'll learn yourself a lesson. Injuns and Injun lovers ain't wanted here. Hold it, Chingachgook. Easy. Folks say I'm the learning sort. I just might take the time to study this lesson. If you want your knives back, they'll be at the trading post. Now get. Hello, Doctor. Hawkeye. Chingachgook. Thank the good Lord you got my letter. My home is yours. This certificate would never have been possible without your aid and encouragement. All we did was nod our heads when the doctor from the college asked us if he had any sense. I'm beginning to wonder if your faith in me wasn't a mistake. Oh, we make mistakes. Only if our brother loses faith in himself. Don't worry about that, Chingachgook. I'm proud of what I have accomplished. I'm the only doctor in the territory. It's just that I don't like having my skill judged by the color of my skin. People come in all shapes and sizes and colors. It's going to take a while before they can all learn to live together. The people in this town have never given me a chance, Hawkeye. From the day I arrived here with my wife and child, there has been hate and violence toward us. Hawkeye! Well, Kuchia! <laughs> 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 hey, let's see here. Well, he's growing. Aren't I big enough for a long rifle yet? I don't know. Maybe another year. Hey, go see ya. Excuse me, that's my friend. That little boy out there is the son of Jess Adams, who runs the trading post and whose voice is raised loudest of all against me. Out there is hope for future. Your papoose and papoose of Adams play together only now. But soon they grow into big braves. Live together, work together to make this happy land. They become blood brothers, like Hawkeye and me. I got some tools back of Pa's shed. Let's get them, then you can show me how to make this bow and arrow. You really want me to? Of course I do. Ain't nobody else I'd rather play with or talk to around here. That goes for me too, Ted. Come on, let's go. Here, let me give you a hand, Miss Brent. This is a woman's job. 
Your food cook. I go to clean sign. It can wait. No stain must show on sign. It must be bright as the star you follow, my husband. With a wife like that, you'll be all right. Won't be long before the settlers around here will be dropping by for the loan of a cup of flour. Some of that learning you got up there. If all I needed to keep that sign hanging were love and faith, there'd be no problem. Sign is wood. Only good for fire. Unless tell people you are a doctor here and here. You are right, my brother. Foolish anger and pride make me forget that I owe a duty to more than just myself. I am fortunate that I have friends whose hearts beat loud enough to make me remember. Doc, in order to keep that star that your wife's out there cleaning up shining, I think maybe Chingachgook and me will hang around for a while. Keep an eye on it. We go guzzling rum gully and ain't gonna get that engine hightailing it for the deep woods. You're the one with all the ideas, Adam. I'm just supposed to see they're carried out. We go, you gotta think for yourself, sometimes. If we let Tanana get as strong a stronger foothold in this place, uh, before you can say daffodilly, Vengeance is gonna start figuring they got rights. You'll have them living in cabins all around you. Here comes that engine lover. boys here tell me you kind of broke up their fun and... I reckon we were a little hasty taking their playthings away from them. I was only trying to get a few laughs. Wasn't you, Rigo? Mighty comical joke we busted on too, huh, Chingachgook? Next time white man make joke like that, maybe die laughing. Well, you told Rigo you bring these here, so you're a man of your word. Outside of that door, there's a road leading out of town. You better take it. It's a mighty peculiar road. When we first saw it, it was leading into town. Yeah, that's the way roads are. They lead in and out of places. And we're a powerful particular who takes the roads leading in here. Then we don't like, we shows the way out. Especially engines and engine lovers. <laughs> we'll be taking the road out of town when we make up our own minds about it. Run the gate! Get out of my store! Go and get out! And take that filthy Indian with you! Remember, white man, when heart is full of hate, some to him may choke and throat. What did I tell you? Treat those Indians nice, they'll crawl all over you. White man's talk make me feel like going warpath. He is bad medicine. I've known men like him before. Call themselves decent citizens. Well, they are for the most part. But something in them is kind of twisted about people who don't look like them or think like them. He has twist in spirit up here. <laughs> Go get Dr. Tanama. <laughs> Mister, your wife looks like she might be needing a doctor. Uh, I'm getting her to one, if I can make it to Elkville. Elkville's 50 miles. She doesn't look like she's fit for that kind of traveling. Well, what else can I do? Better than sitting around the cabin watching her suffer. There's a sign over there. It says there's a certified doctor right here in town. There ain't no redskin doctor gonna touch my wife. <laughs> Come judgment day, I suppose you figure on telling your wife you let her suffer and die just because you didn't like the color of red. May as well go home, Doc, unless you want to stand here and watch a man murder his own wife. What's wrong with her, Doctor? What's wrong? Move back, please. to bed at once, Mrs. Phelan. Dose him every three hours with a teaspoon of these bitters. That'll take the ache and fever out of him. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you.
That's my fourth patient today, thanks to you, Hawkeye. You can thank Mrs. Jeffries and your own skill. Ever since you chased the fever out of her, she's done nothing but praise you to the other women folk. Has Rigo been bothering you? He's been avoiding me as though I had the plague. I'm afraid that he and Adams are up to something, though. Look. He's been standing out there all day. He's not standing out there because he likes sunning himself. All right, boys. Now stay away from that Indian doctor, or next time it'll be worse. You were told not to go to Tanamas. Are you going to let that engine tend your wife again? No more. No more. Just let him know there ain't no place for redskins in a white man's town. everywhere, watching like a cat at a mouse hole. If it weren't for Mara and Kochi, I'd blast that laughter down their throats with a musket. Now, that won't solve anything. They're responsible for my patients being intimidated. I visited them all. I see signs of violence, yet they keep silent. It's Adams. His hate is behind all this. Saying it doesn't prove it. None of them will ever have the courage to seek treatment from an Indian doctor again. I might as well take down that sign and go back to living in a teepee. Now, simmer down, Tanama. Getting all riled up isn't the answer to anything. It's not advice I need, Hawkeye. It's proof that Adams is behind all this violence. Well, proof is truth. And truth has a way of springing up as bright as a daisy in a weed patch. Now, you just look after your place, Doc, and me and Chingachgook will see if there isn't something we can do about this. Looks more to me like a couple of fistfuls of knuckles fell on your face. It was an accident, I tell you. A couple of shakes fell off the roof and hit me in the face. I'm hearing you, but I'm not believing you. Think it over, Mr. Jeffries. Your wife wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for Doc Tanama. If that doesn't mean anything to you, think of the other settlers. The men, women, children who may be needing his help. I don't think Adams and Rigo have the right kind of medicine. Come on, Ching, it's good. Hawkeye, it was no accident. They were hooded men. They said they'd kill me if we went to Tanama again. Did you know any of them? I told you they were hooded. They didn't have hoods on their tongues or on their fists. Well, it could have been Rigo, but how can I be sure? It happened so fast. The next time you hear Rigo's voice, listen real good. If you've got an ounce of decency in you, you won't be too scared to point an accusing finger at him. When fear make man speak lie, maybe more fear make man speak with straight tongue. you understand English? Maybe a little engine talk will help you understand. Hey, get up! I'll take that. Hey, that's sure the Redskin, fellas. button in for. He's nothing but a redskin. He's my friend. 
<laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> hey, the hey, injured lover. Hey, Ted Adams, I'm an injured lover. I'm sorry, Ted. Here. Oh, forget it. It's your slick. You really like it? This is where you string it. When you get a good piece of rawhide, I'll show you. Get home. But, Pa! Don't make me tell you again. I'm gonna learn you to stay away from my boy. What do you think you're doing, Adam? You're still interfering, eh? Well, just stand right there, and you'll see how decent folks take care of rubbish. I ain't no street brawler. If you ain't out of this town within 24 hours, you'll be carried out. Feet first. I ain't finished with you yet either, you redskin brat. It's Cochia's bow. His good bow. It's a dark time for a little boy when he feels hate that he can't understand. It is not good for young papoose to feel hate in life. Your wife must be bad cook. To have appetite, a man must have accomplishment. Cochia, what is the matter? Cochia, when I was a boy, I was taught never to show tears. You were an Indian. You lived like an Indian. But what is our son? I'll tell you. He's neither red nor white. He's nothing. Mara. If you can't help it, I've tried. I can turn the other cheek. So can you. But a little boy. What do they want of him? Before we accuse, let us learn what brought the tears. Tell us, Cochia. He called me rubbish. He was going to hit me. Who? Mr. Adams. He hates me. He hates all of us, just because we're Indians. Why? What's wrong with us? Are we evil? Panama, what are you going to do? I'm still an Indian. And like my father before me, my son is my honor. I go now to my enemy's house to hurl the arrow of war at his feet. Answer me. Ain't you heard me tell you a hundred times you can't trust an Indian? And how many times have I told you how they massacred your grandpa? You know my rules. Redskins wait outside. I come to tell you my rules. Lay a hand once again on my son and I'll kill you. I'll learn you to threaten me, you dirty Redskin. Fair's fair, Mr. Adams. But emptying a pistol into an unarmed man isn't. Come on, Tanama. to die. Well, we did what we come for anyway. That you did, Mr. Adams. But when folks around here come to their senses, you'll be the one who's run out, not Tanama. Now get. living in a teepee with a blanket around my shoulders. Uh, I, 
I just want to say I'm sorry for what happened. How did it happen? Zip, zip. He's losing blood fast. Maybe his father can find a doctor. I understand there's a pretty good one in Elkville. Well, come on, drink up. Then we can all go out and enjoy seeing Tanama head for the woods. Oh, what happened? It was an accident. He was fighting some boy named Zeb. Rigo, get the barber! Wait, you blind fool. All a barber knows is bloodletting and cupping. Your boy's head is busted. He's been losing blood by the buckets. You need a real doctor. Well, you know we ain't got one. Adams, your stubborn stupidity is gonna cost you your boy's life. He's gonna die if you don't change your way of thinking about Tanama. And right now, after all you've done to him, I don't know if I can talk him into helping you or not. But if you say the word, I'll try. If I believed in signs and miracles, I'd believe that the good Lord gave you this chance to clean the black hate out of your heart. Unless your hate's bigger than your love for him. Oh, Tanama wouldn't help me anyway. The doctor's duty is to the weak, regardless of his personal feelings. Forgive me, Hawkeye, for letting anger make me forget my vows. Tanama, he's all I got. Help him. Take my son. I'll do what I can. Take off his coat. He needs blood. I've seen it done, but it's very dangerous. They take blood from a sound person and put it in the sick one's veins. It's the only way. But I must warn you, there is a chance that the new blood may be poisonous. There's no way of telling until after it's been transferred. Well, do we try it or not? Use mine. Or mine. We're friends. We could be blood brothers. They're the same age. They have the same purity. We all bleed the same color, Mr. Adams. Make room for Cochia to lie on the table beside Ted. I always seem to be saying goodbye to you and Chingachgook. Well, each man has his own world, Tanama. Yours is here, and ours is out there in the forest. Ted! Hey, Ted! Well, always know where to find you two wild Indians. How'd you like something to get sweet to, eh? <laughs> Looks like you won't have to worry about the future. You see? Like I tell you, all future be happy now. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.